Good morning. It's time for another High Five Monday, and uh, I hope it's going to be a marvelous Monday for all of us. Um, you know, last Saturday, uh, this past Saturday, remember it was the first re first day of rebuilding of of the walls of of Nehemiah, and it took fifty two days. So if you take seven into fifty two, you're going to get forty nine plus three. Okay, so we've already had Saturday and Sunday go. So how about let's start with a plan. You know, I every morning I read uh, a word from Marsha and Bill Burns. And Marsha writes small straws, and I can't remember what it is that he writes. It's just a very, very short. But, you know, most of the time it's something that's dealing with my life right then. But Marsha wrote this morning something really interesting. She said she was hearing the word codify. Well, I hadn't been hearing the word codify, but Marcia said she'd been hearing the word codify. And codify means to arrange systematically according to a plan. Now, if you, <clears throat> if you fail to plan, <clears throat> excuse me, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. It's, it's, it's the same with everything. If you're going to change your diet, you're, you need to have a plan. Or you get to the end of the day and you're going to think, well, okay, I'm going to start tomorrow. Or if you if you need to exercise, you need to have a plan. Or you're going to get to the end of the day and you're going to find out you didn't have time to exercise all day. You know, it's the same with getting back to the things of God. Now, we're in the seven, uh, the 52 days of, of building, rebuilding the walls of Nehemiah. And are there are there walls down in our nation? Are there walls down in our nation? I would say yes. You know, it seems like we're getting hit from all sides. We're being corrupted from within. And, uh, and codify, let's systematically arrange systematically according to a plan. Remember, if you planned, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And so when I was thinking about this, I was thinking 52, if you break that down, in by set by the weeks it's seven weeks and then it came to me the seven mountains there are seven areas of influence in our in in our societies and the church is supposed to influence all of them what if we every day of the week for seven weeks we take one of those areas of influence let me tell you the area of, area of areas of influence are called the seven mountains seven mountain mandate by Lance Wallnow, uh, Bill Bright, um, several different ones have done this. The first one is religion. That's the first day of the week, Sunday. You know, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. You know, it's, it's amazing that they're trying to snuff out church. I mean, they're, they're, it's okay to protest, but don't go to church. And we are going to, you know, we're going to start taking Sunday back. We're, st we're going to start taking our Sabbath back. Monday, how about family? How about you pray for the family Monday? Uh, that is a great area of influence because if you if you look at the majority of the people that are in prisons or are out there protesting, they don't have a father figure and they don't have a mother figure. They, uh, I, You know, I talk with people that they can't remember their family ever sitting down to eat a meal together as a family. And um, that's amazing when you think about it. Education on, on Tuesday, government on Wednesday, media on Thursday, art and entertainment on Friday, and business on Saturday. If you pray for those, every single one of those are areas of influence. They're areas that, that, that affect our society. If you're only praying for government, you're missing it. If you're only playing, praying for family, you're missing it. If you only praying for religion, you're missing it. Because seven is God's perfect number. And there's seven mountains that the Bible talks about. There's seven areas of influence in our nation. And if we can all, all of us together pray for one of those mountains every single day. And so I'm going to start out today. Today is um, a family. And so, Father, I just lift up the fathers in this land, Father. I pray, Father, for the families, that they would again be the priests of their home, that they would again be that, that influence, that they would care more about their family than they care about themselves, that they would be the protector of the family. And, Father, in the family, I pray that the children would learn to honor 
their mother and father, for this is the first commandment with the promise that it would be well with them upon this earth. Father, help our families to strengthen. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a marvelous Monday.